She fought to survive for more than two months after she was shot at a basketball game. But yesterday, a Bronx woman who was an innocent bystander succumbed to her injuries. CBS 2's Alicia Reed spoke with her family as they mourned this tragic loss. This was the last photo Jelani Green took on June 19th, right outside the Half Nelson playground, where she and her family went to watch her brother play in a Father's Day basketball tournament. David Love remembers the last conversation he had with his sister. Before the game started, she asked me, like, Dave, you ready? And I was like, yeah, and she smiled. By the time the game ended, police say a single gunshot rang out. It hit the 25 year old in the neck, severing her spinal cord and exiting through her left shoulder. She was left paralyzed from the neck down. My sister didn't deserve that. She was 25 years old. She had a whole lot left to live. For months, family members visited her at St. Barnabas Hospital. Her mother tells me Jelani suffered a stroke in August. Then came a number of infections, collapsed lungs, and more. My baby had a truck. My baby had a pacemaker. The baby had a peg. But she kept fighting, and her family expected her to survive. She was strong for a long time. Police believe this all stemmed from a gang rivalry at the park. Her mother says she'll always have one regret about that night. I'll always be sad if I would have left five minutes earlier, even three minutes earlier. Jelani's family is now tasked with planning a funeral they're not prepared for. Meanwhile, police say this is still an ongoing investigation. So far, no arrests have been made. In the Morris Heights section of the Bronx, Alicia Reed, CBS 2 News.